Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs Zombies. And well, this is a video to make up for the zombotany that we did in the previous video. I was going to try a different approach, something that was more appropriate in my opinion. So and this is a bit of a challenging map also. Um gonna do sunflowers, cherry bomb squash, jalapenos. Taw nuts, spike weed, the potato mine definitely. And then we will also use pumpkins. So essentially the objective here for us is we're not going to use any projectile plants, we're just going to use explosive ones and spike weed. And the nuts, of course, to protect our uh, sunflowers here. But it can be done. Um, before, I had another plant as well that I used to um, pretty much duplicate this cherry bomb, but I really don't have the money at the moment to buy that particular plant. So, yeah, you just put the mine there to buy up some time, get your sunflowers out. I would recommend five sunflowers on this row. And then afterwards you put a taw nut right in front of it, followed by spike weed all along this row. That way it, yeah, that way it's going to kill Yeah, it's gonna kill whatever comes in this row. So you don't really have to worry too much about it. You just have to look after the overall condition of the taw nut at all times. But yeah, you just place this here. Sooner or later the guy's gonna die, so. Now it's just a matter of finding out where we should put the next potato mine. And we got our answer. Place it right there. And, you know, what you want to do is once you have the sunflowers established, start to build up a nice amount of sun. And then just keep up with whatever zombies come, up, come out, whether it's placing a potato mine or a squash. And then you know, heated situations, use the jalapeno or the cherry bomb. Just in case things get a little too crazy. Then yes, we have one to take care of that guy, and then we can use the squash to get rid of this guy, because by the time this regenerates, it'll be too late. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, our spike weed set, and let's just get rid of this guy right now, so... Out of sight, out of mind, like I say. And uh, just place a pumpkin there just for even more protection for that row. We have to get through this and then this. And you know, that's probably a minute or so worth of protection. And really, that's all there is to it, to this strategy. Just have to keep up with everything, like. Be very uh, mindful of, of what's in ro row at all times, and be sure you have enough uh, defense for it. And yeah, the potato mine should be all set by the time. Yep, there we go. Plenty of space. And we can use the cherry bomb to get rid of these two outright. And we'll use a scrush to kill this guy. Or maybe a jalapeno. Since two of them there. Might as well. Then we'll... Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty much the name of the game. Uh, we can easily use a cherry bomb to get rid of all three of these guys. Potato mine will take care of him. So everything's under control, I'd like to say. At this uh, first flag very soon, so we're in pretty good condition. And here we go. Takes care of that. Nice $50. I like you. Uh, let's preempt just so... Um, this will start recharging. 
And you know, maybe a zombie will come in this row. Yep. Oh good, two of them comes right there. Good. Awesome. We have a walnut zombie now. Get rid of those two. Yeah, does the job just perfectly. And pretty much we got everything under control. Um, can use a jalapeno for that. Then the cherry bomb for those bottom two ones there. Yeah. Probably the sooner the better, just cause we want to start having these things start uh, recharging ASAP. And we have a squash on hand just in case anything does get by. And even the long nut, that can buy us a lot of time, so... Really no concerns here. And we're already done with the first flag, so... Very soon we'll be done with it. But this is ideally how I wanted to show you this minigame the first time. Nice little row of sunflowers, followed by this protection, and this offense. And then just use... If you want to be fancy at doing it, then just use explosive items like this, the squash, um, although it's not an explosive item, but you get what I'm saying. Use that there, probably, yeah, use the squash. The yeah, annoying thing about these guys is they take a lot of punishment. Got some more money. It's always nice. Yeah, and you know, it's not too tough actually. It's rather simple. They come out in a good amount of numbers, so it's not like you're ever overwhelmed by what they sent you. Sometimes it may seem like it, but now if you come at this with a cool mind, you can easily see that it's uh, nothing overly difficult. Use a cherry bomb for him, and it'll start recharging now. And we have a couple more seconds worth of time to allow this to recharge. And then, hmm. yeah, set a potato mine there. Squash him. But yeah, the key, especially in placing these. As far back as possible, just because you want to eat up as much time as possible. And let's see. Yeah, these guys take a while to kill. What should I do about this? Um, potato mine, yep. And what more is there to say about this? Um, we're almost at the end, which is nice. And this should take care of all three of them. And then, uh, yeah, almost. still hot nowadays, it's high 80s today. The only nice thing was that there was a storm to go along with it, so kind of helped a bit. Uh, what should we do here? I'd like this to recharge a little quickly, but is he going to let us? I think so. If not, then... Use that as protection. Um, use that. There we go. Use that there. And. 
Get rid of this lot, um, Tawnut. Walk into that in. That is some botany for you. The way I wanted to present it. Not too bad. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a good night. Sayonara.